Hello again, I'm Rob and I'm out with Karen and Edith, the miniature schnauzer. We're going for a walk today in the hills around Montacute in Somerset. We set off from the King's Arms pub where we're staying and where, according to the sign on the wall outside, on September the 5th, 1782, nothing happened here. We walk past the TV and radio toy museum and out into the countryside. I've downloaded the directions for the walk, which is about six miles. The directions don't seem very comprehensive though. Carrie and I have a bet on how many times we're going to get lost and how many times we argue over where to go next. Let's see who wins. It's the last week of September and we can see the leaves on the trees are just starting to think about changing to their autumn colours. This part of the walk is quite steep, steeper than it looks on the vid anyway. We thought we got lost already, but this kind lady on the horse pointed us in the right direction. She's going the same way, so we can walk behind her for a bit. She and Karen spent the whole time talking about their experiences with horses and the various accidents that they'd had. Although it's the end of September, it's a lovely sunny day and unusually hot. Our new horse riding friend has taken a different turning to us now and we're on our own again. We're on the Liberty Trail now. The walk directions tell us to follow the path, climb up through the trees and we'll come to a carved stone. We don't know whether that's 200 yards away or two miles away. We've already come to a fork in the path with no sign of the carved stone, we agree which path to take without having an argument. Yeah. Amazing. Still no sign of the carved stone, but we do have a view. This is a village of Little Norton, at least we think it is. Mm. That looks like a car stone up ahead. This is about two miles farther on than we expected. Maybe this is a different carved stone. Uh, is, yes. Here we are at the carved stones. There's nothing here to tell us about the significance of these stones, which is a shame. Maybe they're related to the quarry, which we're going to see later, hopefully. These grassy banks are part of an Iron Age hill fort built about 600 BC. This was one of the largest hill forts in Britain apparently. All dug out by hand using rudimentary tools remember. They were tough in those days. Oh, yes. This is all still remnants of the hill fort.
Cheers. So I know. Uh, no. This might be the pub. <laughs> And now, in the middle of nowhere, we find a pub, where we'll stop for lunch. We aren't supposed to have found the pub yet, so that's at least once that we've got lost. After a socially distanced lunch, sitting outside in the sun, we set off again, heading towards the War Memorial. This bench is a memorial to a loved one who died at the age of 22. Very sad and a poignant reminder that none of us knows what's around the corner in our lives. A fantastic view here of Somerset, with the village of Stoke Sub Hamden in front of us. Do you know what those dark patches are behind the village? What's Somerset famous for? Somerset's famous for producing cider. And where does cider come from? Apples. These are apple orchards, and the apples on the trees will be almost ready to harvest now to make next year's cider. It's making me thirsty thinking about it. On a more sombre note, we're coming up to the War Memorial. Always a thought-provoking experience to read the names of those who lost their lives and a time for quiet reflection. Leaving the War Memorial, we continue our walk amid the grassy mounds of Ham Hill Quarry. The stone circle that you can see looks like it's been standing for a couple of thousand years. In fact, it was erected in the year 2000, to remember those who quarried stone at Ham Hill through the centuries. The deeper pits here are the result of Victorian innovation. At one time, there were more than 200 families quarrying the Ham stone in the hillsides here.
It's about a mile back to the King's Arms in Montacute. We'll fast forward back to the village and think about rounding off the walk with a pint of cider. We got lost twice, so Karen won the bet. We didn't argue about which way to go too much though, so we'll call that evens. I'd love to read your comments below and if you've enjoyed the walk, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the Country Traveller channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.